my name is Lynn Gillespie, creator of the High Performance Garden System and Greenhouse and Garden Advisor for the GROW Network. And I want to welcome you to the Living Farms Free Garden Education Series. Today I'd like to share with you when is the best time to start my tomatoes for the ultimate success. So if you start your tomatoes too late, then you don't get a crop. And if you start them too soon, they can get leggy or will freeze and die in the garden. So when do you know is the best time to plant your tomato seeds for the best crop? So here on the Living Farm, I use a formula to figure out the best time. The formula starts with your last frost date. So if you don't know your last frost date, do a search with your zip code or city's name and the words last frost date. And once you know your last frost date, count back eight weeks, and this will be the earliest you should start your tomato seeds. Now the latest you should start your tomato seeds is two weeks later. So you've got to, basically, you're given a two week window to get your tomato seeds planted. The reason we have a two week window is that some areas will get frost early in the fall and we'll need to get the plants going to get a crop in. If you have a short growing season, buy tomato seeds that are a short season. Some of them are around 70 days. So here's an example. For us, our last frost date is May 15th. I count back eight weeks and I would plant the seeds on March 20th. I will grow them in the house with lights or near a sunny window for about four weeks. I like growing the plants under the lights so that they stay stocky. Sometimes by the window, they are not very stocky. So if you wanna grow under the lights, use a plant light that at the recommended height from the manufacturer. They'll tell you how high above the plants. And you want to leave the light on for 16 hours a day and then give the plants eight hours of dark so that they can rest. After four weeks, I will then transplant the tomato seedlings into a three inch pot. Be sure to fertilize the tomatoes plants at this stage. They will then grow on in the three inch pot for the next three weeks in the house under the lights. Around week seven, it should get nice outside to where you can put the tomato plants outside during the day and back in at night. So be sure to harden off your plants slowly so they don't get sun or wind burned. After a week of going in and out of the house, the tomato plants should be ready to plant in the ground. So do watch for frost in the forecast. If predicted to go below 36 degrees Fahrenheit, get a cover over your plants. So if you'd like to learn more about growing tomatoes in high performance gardening, go to our website, thelivingfarm.org, and there you can find more articles, videos, and e-courses that can help you on your way to success. So please subscribe to our channel for more amazing high performance gardening information. Thank you for joining us today, and until next time, may your garden be easy, fun, productive, and always organic. If you want to learn how to grow $2,500 worth of organic produce with only a 15 minute a day commitment, sign up for the High Performance Garden Show. There are hundreds of episodes chock full of my best gardening secrets that I have learned over the last three decades. Go to thelivingfarm.org slash high dash performance dash garden dash show. It's free and online. Also, if you want to join the premier online community of people who grow food, medicine, and build resilient communities, join us today at thegrownetwork.com. Thanks so much for watching. May your garden be easy, fun, productive, and always organic.